My son is a very big Guillermo fan. Yeah, oh, yeah. is he really? Uh, say yeah. hi. Yeah. Say hi. Well, you can take him over for the weekend if you want. Should we? Yeah, sure. Right, yeah. Cool. <laughs> How old is your son now? He is 14. 14. Now, yeah. you, I knew you were just on vacation, right? Yes. Yeah, I went to Hawaii for Hawaii. a few weeks. Yeah, nice. very nice. Do you, very nice. Are you uh, able to relax? You don't seem like a relaxer to me. I do. I do like to relax. It takes. I like to do, you know, things to chill out. I like to, coconut art. Oh, really? Yeah. You make uh, art out of coconuts? No, I no. don't. No, I you just. Did. I, I was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I, <laughs> Yeah, but... I like, I do, no, I do. It just takes me a little while. I was, I got into tennis a few years ago because I love tennis, I love watching tennis. And then I started, though, late in life, so I'm not when very good. When did you good. start, just a few, three years ago? Or? I started like five or six years ago. Uh -huh. And then, of course, I got an injury in my elbow. So already I was bad, and then I got an injury in my elbow, which compounded everything. Great, great. And, uh, but then when I went to Hawaii this time, I took it up again because my elbow was feeling better. And I was there with my brother-in-law, and there's this guy I know on the island, this island dude who's a friend of mine, <laughs> who's a very, you know, like chilled out guy, and we played before, and he said, hey, let's, let's do doubles. So, you know, I, of course, immediately went to the tennis pro to train, because... Did you really? Well, I just wanted to get some hits in and go with Brian, because Brian's not very good either. Mm -hmm. And I'd never met this guy. He was a good pro. At first, it started out good, because he was just sort of giving us, you know, basic sort of, you know, follow through, contact point, backswing, and then it kind of, very quickly turned into like a professional coaching session. Oh, really? Which my skills just don't live up to. <laughs> so he was like, he just, he goes, wait, whoa, 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 you're, you're flat footed. You're dragging your feet. That's old man tennis. You want to play old man tennis? And I immediately like kind of go, no, no, I don't want to. I'm, 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 I'm not old. I'm sprightly. I'm sprightly. And, uh, and then he started like, you know, giving me just like these strategies that my skill set just couldn't live up to. Like, you know, you're a lefty, lefty forehand. Go to my backhand. Punish my backhand. <laughs> Put me in a corner. Hurt me. <laughs> Teach me a lesson. Because <laughs> then I, I don't know what to do, because I don't know what to do with that. Then I'm going to hit back a little, you know, help me mommy shot. And then what do you do? You charge the net. <laughs> and then what do you do? I don't know. What do I do? You, you put on a hazmat suit, because it's a crime scene, and you're about to mop it up. <laughs> I don't even know what this he means. This is very intense for tennis. It really yes, and I and I and I of course have like hit three balls over the net and the whole the whole. You know, yeah, thing. because you get worked up. But I also like the idea that you are having a friendly match with a, a chill dude on the island, and you decide you need to take lessons for it. Yes, and <laughs> it really didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, no, it never works. No. You can't really learn in a, in a quick. We were destroyed. Yeah. Oh, you were. Yeah, and they were like wearing flip flops. Oh. <laughs> That's but there you know was just this trouble. sort of like laid back, like Shaka thing, but it was very competitive, but like we're dinking it back and forth, like we're in the US Open or something. Were you, you all ready to go, like all geared up? Yeah, I was, and you know, the thing is when it's doubles also, you turn on your, your partner, <laughs> yeah, right? Because that. we're both not good, but then when I finally like get one over the net and then it comes back and then he doesn't get it over the net, I'm looking at him like, what is your problem? <laughs> He's actually right. erased your accomplishment. And then I go back to the, you know, the training that our pro gave. And it's like, okay, look, you're going to play up. I'm going to play back. <laughs> and then we're going to break their spirit. Uh-huh. I have no idea how we're going to do that. <laughs> you didn't break their yeah. spirit. And, and were they, well, I guess, were you good sports about? Yes, they're yeah. nice guys. Yeah, right. One of them's a fisherman. He offered me an ahi. He caught, he caught a 150-pound ahi. And I'm like, I couldn't take it because I still, I was so roiled up. From really? The whole thing. <laughs> like, I don't want your ahi. I want to win. <laughs> You rejected his fish. Wow, in Hawaii, <laughs> that could get you thrown off the island. Yes, yeah. Something like that. I think we're good. So, uh, so it was not a relaxing vacation, it sounds like. No, no, it was, I, it was, I mean, uh, it, it, the, the game itself, I left much more tense than when I started. You did? Sure. Okay, well, yeah. that's great. What else did you do? What do you do I, in Hawaii? I don't do much. I, I like to watch the Tour de France. On television? Yeah. Does anybody know the Tour de France? See, it's a, okay. But it's a very specific sport. It's a three-week bike race around France. Yeah, They right. go, like, you know, over, like, 1,500 miles. It's like running a marathon every day. And it's basically five hours of watching men cycle for three weeks. You watch all of it? I do watch all of it, because if you don't watch all of it, if you don't watch all of it, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but if you do watch all of it, it still means very little. It's very hard to understand. <laughs> but, because it's a very complex race, uh -huh. a, there are different, um, you know, competitions within the race. There's the King of the Mountains, there's the Green Jersey, there's the White Jersey, the Yellow Jersey is the main competition. And basically, these guys are racing every day. If a guy has a, like, if he has a flat, 
That's very exciting. Is it really? Yes. That's... Because then the guy with the bike car comes and they change the flat, and it's, it's kind of like the opposite of watching a Formula One pit stop. It's the opposite of that excitement. Yeah. And... <laughs> So but you're saying, if you're into the race, it's yeah. very exciting. And is there a guy you root for? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's hard because every year they're different. There are a lot of Belgian and Dutch riders. Right. The guy who won this year, Egon Bernal, is from Colombia. Uh -huh. He's amazing, yeah. You liked him? You were rooting well, for him? Well, yeah, it was exciting. It was his first Tour de France. Mm -hmm. um, last year was Garen Thomas, who's a great racer. But then, like, things happened, like Wout Pools, you know, he crashed in the time trial. And we were all broken up about Can that. Can I ask a, a, a personal question? Do you have... Friends who watch this with you? I have one friend who watches it with You me. do? Yes. And the two of you sit there and watch bicycle <laughs> That's racing. That's right. And we alienate everybody else. <laughs> For three weeks. Yes, my children look at me like, when is the Tour de France over? <laughs> Your children must hate the Tour they de France. They hate the Tour de France. And do you say Tour de France or Tour de France? Isn't that the way you're supposed to say it? I say Tour de France, but I also say aqua instead of aqua. OK, all right, well. <laughs> is that weird? You, well, it is, but yeah, aqua, but. aqua is actually pronounced aqua. In France. And America, too. Is it really? Yes. So, I looked it up. Aquaman, for instance, is Aquaman? For me, it's Aquaman, yeah. He is. Yeah. What about Aqua Velva, the cologne everyone wore in the 70s? Um, I, that's, that's Aqua Velva. That's Aqua that Velva. Is Aqua Velva. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I knew it as Aqua We've Velva learned a lot. Child. I think what we've learned more than anything is never to go on vacation with you. <laughs> <laughs> ben Stiller is here. His great series, Escape with Danamora, is, uh, well, we'll show you a clip from that next. We'll be right back. Do you know that out in nature there are no right angles? But in here it's all right angles. It's an engineered environment. Bars up, bars down, bars across. And the people inside, they get to be right angles too. What are you talking about? And there are the angles. I get bent. That is uh, Escape from Danimora, Benicio Del Toro, and Patricia Arquette. We saw in that clip. Paul Dano is another main boy. That I did, this is I love this series. Thanks. I was so bummed knowing it was going to end and that we weren't going to get another. It's like it was canceled in advance. Yes. Well, they got caught. Yeah, they so, got caught. Yeah. So, yeah. Had, I knew, we knew it had an ending, and uh, that's kind of what I liked about it. That it was sort of like this amazingly finite story, and you know, it all happened over the course of six months, where they. They started this attempt, and they created this relationship with uh, Tilly, who was Patricia Arquette's character. She worked in the prison. Yeah, and, and she had physical relations with both of them, and mm -hmm. uh, they got her to help them escape. Yeah, and you know who also was great, and I don't feel it got enough credit, was Bonnie Hunt in this series. She was She's fantastic. She's amazing, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you got 12 Emmy nominations, which is yeah. true. Do the guys who, you be who beat you in tennis know you got 12 Emmy nominations for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they really cared. <laughs> sure. You won the DGA Award for Best Director. Yeah. Which is, Thank you God. know, that's from the other directors. Yeah. Do you like not having to, to act in something? Yes. I mean, to, to direct, because everything I've directed up to now, I've been in. Mm -hmm. And it was such a relief not to have to deal with me. You know what I mean? Well, it must make it I mean, so much harder. Yeah, yeah, well, when you go to edit, you have to, you know, look at yourself. Which right. Which is just, you know, it's painful. So I, um, <laughs> I was really excited to be able to work with these actors. You know, I've, I've known Patricia for a long time. We did a movie, like, 20-something years ago. Right, yeah. Learning with Disaster. And uh, Benicio, you know, we used to go up on all the same roles together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're always, I always thought of you as a Benicio yes. Del Toro type. Um, but... <laughs> You know, but they're just they're just such good actors, and uh, the story was so interesting. And oh, it was play, so much you know, fun to watch. Yeah. It really was. It was a great story, but you executed it beautifully. Well, thanks. I mean, it, it's a really to me what's interesting about it is it's about human relationships. I mean, this is a real prison escape that happened, but it's it happened because people were connecting with each other in a way that the, the prison couldn't stop. You know? Yeah. The, and you know who else was great? The husband. Patricia Arquette's yes. husband in it. Yeah. Oh boy, Eric he, Lang. Yeah, great actor, he was yeah. funny and great in that in yes. that role. And then very, you know, very spot on. Of, you know, the real guy. You have another. There's a documentary on YouTube about a band you were in when you were how old? Uh, I was like 14, 15. Punk 16. rock band. Well, sort of. We were uh, like a wannabe, like sort of post punk. 
right. band that never really played live ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, never, we were, but we recorded an album. You recorded an album. Yes. And I think a lot of people yes. did this, but not too many people. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's called the band's Capital Punishment. Yes, very hard, yeah. And this, you can find this on YouTube. All the guys in the, in the band went on to become successful people in other fields. Yes, Peter Swan, who is our bass player, is the Chief Justice on the Arizona State States. Court of Appeals. <laughs> right. um, and Peter Zussi is a professor of um, Czech literature in, at London College. And, uh, and Chris, who formed the band, is a futures trader. And, you know, we, <laughs> we our parents uh, funded the album, uh -huh. kindly. <laughs> and then we got back together uh, and, and played together just for fun, Who really. Who did the logo here? Um, that, was, that was all of us. <laughs> yeah. And we took these down on 42nd Street, one of those, you know, arcades. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> um, sure, I'd recognize you anywhere. Yes. You, I do want to show something, and I want to ask you about it, because there was a video posted to Instagram Mm -hmm. You did not post this video to Instagram. I don't know who posted this video to Instagram, but you're on the subway in New York. Right. And, well, roll this video here, because this woman got excited to see you on the subway. So excited, in fact, that she took the curlers out of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't know where she's gonna stop either, by the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a Van Halen video. Yeah. <laughs> then everyone got in the act. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Yeah. You were very nice. <laughs> yeah, it was such a strange experience because I had the same feeling as you. Like, what is the end game here? Where is this headed? Because things just kept coming off. Uh -huh. um, and, and then the other thing is that there's an entire train full of people who are not reacting that way. <laughs> so it's a little, you feel self-conscious because everybody's looking at her like, what's her problem? <laughs> what is she, who's that guy she's looking at? And then the, the next time that I went on the train, of course, I was really let down. Oh, nothing, yeah, right, yeah. Nothing happened yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> I had makeup, I was... Well, it's very good to see you. Uh, you too, uh, Escape to Danamora. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's on Showtime. It is streaming now. 12 Emmys for Ben Stiller, everybody. We'll be right back with Robin Thede. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.